We have been expecting you, Mr. Bond. Bonus points to anybody who can tell me which Disney movie this wonderful fella comes from. I mean, you don't get anything with the bonus points except, I don't know, my admiration? Who doesn't want that? So it is now April and welcome, welcome to my April TBR. April is going to be a very busy month. Not only is it the month wherein my university demands two rather long essays from me, help me, but it is also the month wherein we take part in Tom Topple. Tom Topple is a readathon which was started by the wonderful Sam from Thoughts on Tomes, although there are a bunch of other hosts across all the social medias, so you will all be able to find somewhere to chat about it that suits you. And this is a very relaxed readathon. The whole point is to read long books, lots of pages, rather than lots of books, and that's why it goes on for two whole weeks. I will link all of the information for Tome Topple in the down bar for you if you haven't heard about it. So the first book that I am going to attempt to read for Tome Topple definitely qualifies because it is over a thousand pages. You heard me right, there was not a single word that Stephen King did not like. This is of course it. I mean really. I mean, really though. Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this? I don't, I hate clowns. I hate clowns. Don't know what the actual term for hating clowns is, but whatever it is, I, I, it's me. I hate clowns. I watched the trailer for the series which is coming out based on it very recently. Glad I didn't watch it in the dark. And so I thought because the show is coming out soon and I'm probably going to want to watch it that it would be a good idea if I finally tick this off my TBR. Oh, that was like a balloon noise. I probably shouldn't make that either. Oh no, am I going to hate balloons now? I love balloons. So it covers off my adult book and then the second book that I am going to read for Tome Topple covers off my book in a series and read more than one tome and that is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb which will be a beautiful palette cleanser to go on to after reading about scary massacring clowns. I have been intending to do a full reread of the Realm of the Elderlings books for a really freaking long time now and I just don't seem to be getting near fantasy books recently. You know that I go through phases where I'm like fantasy or crime or non-fiction, well less non-fiction but I'm trying, and it just hasn't been fantasy's turn but this one has been niggling in the back of my mind for a really long time and I'm going to do it, I'm finally going to do it. And I'm already 72 pages in because that's where I put it down last time. And you know, because I am a complete masochist, if I run out of those two books during the two weeks, I will go back to Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Again, this is another one of the fantasy books that I had on the go when I decided that I was going to be in a mystery mood for a while. So I am at page 171 of 662. So apart from those supremely ambitious tomes this month, I have a few books that I want to finish off and a few other books that I want to get to. Our current read-along book with myself and my lovely wife Helen is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This was inspired, of course, by the fact that the TV show has just been released on Netflix. However, I have already read this book and I am really, really enjoying narrating things from Hannah's point of view, less from Clay's because Clay suffers a lot in this book. But it's really super good. We're enjoying it and it's just flying by. We're also in the middle of Letters to a Young Muslim by Omar Saif Gobash. We actually paused in the middle of this one to read 13 reasons why a because the tv show came out and b because this one is extremely hard hitting there are a couple of essays in here which have left both helen and i completely gobsmacked after we've finished them and although it's a pretty short book and the font is pretty large there is so much in these few pages and so if we finish those read-along books this month, and I think we probably will, we are going to be picking up Spell Slinger by Sebastian de Castell. You guys will probably all remember Sebastian de Castell from the Traitor's Blade series. There are quite a few people 
who are loving this one, Kitty from Kitty G and Sam from Sam's Nonsense in particular. This is Sebastian de Castell's newest book. It comes out on the 4th of March and it is a young adult title. Also, that was a sneaky peek into my most recent book haul. And finally this month, finally, because I don't have enough books, I am going to be continuing on with The Doll Funeral by Kate Hamer. One of my lovely subscribers actually left a comment to say that she was reading this book and she described it as a really good paranormal mystery with a contemporary baseline and that is exactly how I would describe it. This is stonkingly good. And to give you a kind of idea of the style of it, I actually recently just sent a couple of screenshots of the pages to Mercy from Mercy's Bookish Musings because if you like Mercedes' text in books, especially when it comes to folklore and fairy tale retellings, you're probably going to like this one. So please let me know in the comments of what you guys are reading for April. Are you planning on taking part in Tome Topple? If so, which books are you going to be choosing and can we cheer each other along because I sense that mid first week we're all going to be like, oh, what have we got ourselves into? Somebody is so noisy as you are. Bye guys! Andy Castell from the Traitor's Blade Se oh, totally looked at the book for the name because I couldn't remember it. <laughs> I totally got that right first time. <laughs> I can help it. That's okay, you're totally allowed. <laughs> That'll be a nice sound effect for the background. So I think we're we're covered in the tome tome category. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fitz. What are you doing? You never play in that tunnel and now you're playing in it. Grissom, shut up!